Hey guys, welcome back to week two. So we're starting things off with another training session. Heading out to go and see little Ren Bear. She's with Dan currently in the studio. And as you can tell... It's pretty early in the morning. So I said I would answer some questions. I'll just let these training clips sort of play in the background. The first question that I'm going to answer is, are we going to include a warning, essentially, at the start of every single one of Ren Diaries to not get this breed of dog? And although I think that would be a good thing, so consider this the warning to not get this breed of dog, it's probably not something that we're going to be able to you know absolutely 100% ensure we keep up with but I'll make sure that there is a disclaimer and everybody should always refer back to week one of Ren Diaries to ensure that they understand the situation here don't get this breed of dog just don't do it so you've seen just in this little session that you've just watched the start of developing attention on an object which is that ball different training session you can see already that she's far more engaged and you'll see the end goal for that a little bit later on but we also have some little squishies some little fluffs just to make sure she's happy happy little poopy oops and then we also will go into the training session so what are we working on today we need to work on just some basic little bits to start with make sure brain is engaged today you crazy cat How's it going? How's it going? Good Remembering what we said last time, the vocalization does not achieve any response whatsoever, but instead the behavior that was requested, when that is achieved, then the reward is given. Good. Much better. Good. Yes. Yes. It's just so hard to keep it all contained. It's so hard. It's so hard. Ready? Down. Yes. You start to see a little bit more of me just in training sessions just so you can get a vibe for how I am. But we're also starting here with some baby weights, which we did build a little bit in week one. But this week you'll see that progress. And then next week you'll see kind of next level, both in terms of her weight and her recall, which are key. In this case for the weight, it's key for start lines and agility for a really proved weight, but also for photography. I know a lot of people do not train weights but they train places or stay in position for us a weight's really useful because we're going to be in some really odd locations and situations so a super proof weight is vital for us starting this week to move a little bit more laterally that way is a little bit more sticky so we will go ahead and reposition and then try that one again now all weight stuff is in bright diaries so please look at that instead of looking at this as a how-to but I did want to include quite a lot of the development and also some of the oopsies just to show how it's working so that was the first kind of bend down and she broke so we go back and we work on that again much better going back to your attention on the object what I'm doing is I'm just rewarding for eye contact with the object she's not obsessive about this particular toy right now so it's a good one to just start with to make sure that we can get her attention that is key for photography and then fun play so the attention on an object is really useful because we will want her to look away from a handler or at something else when we're shooting and that's really really helpful so making sure that I am the funnest thing in the room but she still has her loose and free kind of toy play where she can have a party on her own time doing whatever she wants to do but only with kind of items or objects that are permitted in this case it's her jack she loves this jack it's ace Moving onwards, this is a recall session. And what I'll do is I'll stop talking so that you can listen to what's happening. So this is recall, recall proofing, recall drills, essentially. Right, come. 
And then this is the first time she's going to do a recall with a literal distraction. And you'll see that build up this week and next week. Remember that one and compare that one to the next couple. So the dogs are out and that's what she's looking at. So we're recalling off of other dogs. That's really great work from her for this session. So then we can move into a little bit more free play. This time she's running up to the dogs who are barking in the garden. They, she can't get to them. There's a fence, but I need to recall back while she's off leash. Make myself really fun. And I've already ran out of snacks. So the reward in this situation is her favorite thing, which is to stick her head in the entirety of the treat bag. <laughs> so she found that super 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 rewarding but then free time with the other dogs is really important both to learn uh, that she can't just jump on other dogs our dogs are really good for educational purposes they're non-reactive non-aggressive but they do have boundaries so she's learning right now that you know you, do, you can't just always go and jump on other dogs and that's a life skill that I as a handler or an owner is not as effective if I teach that so like I said last week, I just let our own dogs kind of manage the situation. But I did say I would show you what engagement looks like. And Pippi's a great example of this. So watch how Pippi is so hyper-focused on me and what I'm asking her to do and how she completely ignores bright bombing about around her, but also how a little bit later on when Ren comes into the picture, she completely ignores her. That's the aim. So it's hyper-focused, which means you can put her in any situation and nothing's going to happen. And then if I tell the dogs to go in, I need an immediate response. And this is great for teaching a puppy. Ooh back of the yard again one thing I didn't explain last time was why she needs to be here so this is really 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 good life skills for her to essentially be able to watch and be so close to a horse or any other four-legged creature and not go and chase like it's totally cool for her to be chilling there whilst I'm over here on a large animal that would be so fun to chase so these dogs were originally bred to herd. She does still have some herding instincts. So being able to stay in a really nice, calm, controlled environment at this age pays dividends for when she is older and perhaps meets a horse on a um, on a walk or perhaps, she, you know, she's at the yard loose. She's not going to go and just chase another living being. So we still need to prove cattle and sheep. But at the moment, this is absolutely amazing for... A puppy to just be here so that's the point that's why she's there with us when, when I'm riding and she was so tired that this was her response she fell asleep somehow in my hand and she, she was so far gone I was like oh my goodness we have to record this right now Back to training sessions this time. First time up on a higher object. Perfect for training some flat downs. You'll recognize this scenario from Bright Diaries when we were working through her flat down training. What a super bubba. Back outside, another day, another session. I'll be quiet, let you watch this one through. And then, of course, finish on her favorite thing. And then I needed to work on her obsession with the line still, especially when I'm wrapping them up. So this is us doing that. So she's just operating on super focus with the handler and then just making sure that she ignores that leash, which she did really well then. So again, after that, big reward, if I can get hold of any, because 
there wasn't many left in this. Has she got her new name tag? One thing that we do is we have flat tags. It's important for some of our sports because in the rules, you can't have anything dangling. So we always have flat tags on flat collars just so that they're all sorted. So I was really happy that that one came back. She is the best. Another question that was asked that I think is worthwhile going through is what is Ren's job? What's she going to do? Well, the truth is she's going to have multiple jobs, but it's going to really depend on what she vibes with and also us. So she's going to do Canny Cross and potentially buy Cure with Dan. Those are his two things that he likes to do. But with me, she's primarily going to be obviously a dog model and hopefully eventually take over from Alfie because he, you know, is getting a little bit older and he's got some health issues so she's going to eventually take over from him which is why we need to do so much work especially with this breed on making sure she's absolutely okay with people members of the public and proofing things like recall weight stay and handler engagement and her other job with me will also be a little bit of agility potentially not up to the same level that we pushed with Alfie where we were competing every weekend but it is something that I'd like to get back into more weight training in this session I need to end up being able to run away from her and why not I'll show you what we're aiming for right now interrupted this broadcast then with Alfie. So this is the end goal-ish for a weight. There's lots of different ones, but essentially I've put him in a weight stay. I'm running. It doesn't happen often, guys. It doesn't. But I'm running, 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 running. Ages away. He's holding his position. I get past the the student in this situation and then release him he's running towards us I can direct which sides uh, and, and that's it so that's what we're aiming for that level of proofing and all of that just starts now She's still learning that okay means that she can release, but that's something that will come. And then because that was a fairly good little session there, she can just have some snacks and we can work on some things that she just really enjoys to do. It wouldn't be a Ren Diaries at this stage without this behavior, really, if we're being honest. And she's got Dan in the room to also give her some, you know, vocal praise and dead impressed with her skills that she's been working oh, on. Okay, yeah. Always, always there for moral support there. And of course, we still have our snuggle time. She has loose free time and also settled time with an off switch in the crate. But we went out super early one morning to go ahead and again do some recalls. So I will again be a little bit quieter and you can see this develop. We're starting to struggle though with her being far enough away. So that's something that we needed to up the ante for, placing other dogs outside, making sure she can come away from those. Anything that's a distraction at this stage is helpful for us. This is the first time I've asked her to do anything waiting outside. She didn't want to sit down because her bum was wet. So I repositioned her just into this sort of like strange half sit stand thing. But she managed to hold that really, really well. She's doing a super job. I would love her head to stay up. But when I'm dropping snacks left, right and center, I can't really, you know, ensure that it happens. But we will work further on positioning in the future. We also went and did some hand touches outside because, again, proofing in different locations. All of this is covered in Bright Diaries, but I thought it would be fun to include. And then again, free loose time with the dogs. This time, she does get a correction from Bright, fairly stern. But no how I'm done. It's just vocalization there from her. And she's learning super strongly now. You know, everybody has to be on board with play. It does give me the opportunity, though, to run some recalls with her. Alfie's not out because of his allergies. But if I can have dogs milling around and she can recall off them, that helps. If the other dogs recall as well, then that's helpful too. So I'd ask Ren to come, but Bright came as well, which is fine. So then try a recall without Bright. Red come. Yes. 
And again, perfect. So this is all such good life skills. We're proofing basically an immediate instinctive head's turn to come to us, which is what we're going for. And again, Pippi being Pippi. Standard. Dan came back from what his thing is, which is cycling, bike ride. And she wanted to go and eat his shoes, but Dan gave the verbal... And she backed off, which was super. She also loves mud. I mean, <laughs> what can we say? Again, another training session. We know the drill by now. Scatty cat. And it was the first time I'm going to ask her to go up onto objects and perform behaviors, learning how to, well, the commands for going up on and coming off of objects. No, it's so dramatic. It's a box. Yeah. Oh! Careful, bear. Okay, so first of all, we're not scared of it, so that's really cool. Ah, 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 ah. Thank you. Get off. Get off, Papa. Go. Yeah. Good girl. being moved um, manually by hands not something that I normally do but sometimes it's required so it's important yeah. that she's okay with that yeah. too yes. that was a really tough one for her to not come forward so she did super and then asking her to come back off on the verbal cue Here we go. super And then would it be a run diaries, really? We have to keep doing this behavior, but I'm not keen on the legs coming off the floor, so only rewarding when the feet are on the floor. However, um, she's doing so well with this and just pulling back to make sure we've got that engagement before going back in again. Weight training. This is the first time I'm moving, I think, properly laterally and also adding distance. So again, just more proofing, proofy, proofy, proof all of the time. I'm not that fussed about a slight position change. She slips backwards slightly on that floor, so it's okay for me. However, I will be uh, making sure that she's still sticking kind of on me almost and then I'll correct any micro moves in the future now I over egged this because I was trying to explain it the other day and nobody understood what I meant so um, this is what happens at the crate door so she's she never ever makes contact with it it's just a case that if she moves forwards the door doesn't open when she doesn't move forwards she's given her release cue and then she comes out. That builds safety, safety at thresholds. And it's so, so vital as a life skill. Just like leaving it, recalls and retrieves are really useful for just general life skills. So she bit me there, the, my arm, but it was accident. And as long as she backed off when I, uh, when I said so and went back on the toy, I don't have any issues with that. You can see that this leave was made really difficult. We're outside, hyped up, fluffy toy. So it really fills her mouth and this leave is taking a long time but it's okay I want you to remember this and then wait for the next one so I've asked you to leave take it back give her it back and then the next time that she's asked to leave after a big play you should notice a monumental difference in the length of time that's just built over many many repetitions that she leaves and then gets the toy immediately back I filmed this set because these are really good drills for starting to build a little retrieve without being too structured. And I've deliberately thrown down because she likes running up. So I'm going to intercept, have a big game if she'll play with it. And then I want to be able to do a toy swap and then go again, essentially. That's kind of how this game works but it's a really good one for kind of like mid-morning mid-afternoon when she's definitely awake but we don't have a training session to do this is perfect don't 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 i don't don't yes 
you go. Right, so we're suitably wound up today. Ren, week two, what do we do? So we go, week two, the little gallop position. And we sit, yeah, and we go quick, 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 quick. Concentrate. Wait, 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 wait. Can't. <laughs> I was needing to concentrate. Have that. And then are we ready? And we go. Yes. And we go. Yes. Super. Yeah. Ch -ch -ch. yeah. I mean, if I was Ren Bear, would I want to be doing it? Ready? Yes, super. Sit, thank you. Good girl. Oh, you just find it. Right, come. Yeah. She's like, but that's way more fun. Sit. I thought I'd include some of how I talk because it's funny, but also how I randomly run and walk into things. It's good proofing, though, for the dogs, I think. Oops. <laughs> okay. I made myself laugh. Why am I so chaotic? Um, you'll see this happen multiple times. I, that's the first time I think I've turned fully away from her and kind of marched off up the room. And so this is something that we need to work on. If she breaks, we go reposition and then we just run the drill again. Again, you know, broken record, bright diaries here. Ren is really, really, really good at staying focused. The rug, though, does have lots of smells of snacks on, so it's a little bit much, but I've started to kind of regain her attention when we're in that training moment just to make sure that we're not rewarding her head going down but that's something that will come over time I'm not overly concerned about it absolutely not she's a happy bear she's enjoying doing it that's absolutely fine for the moment Another session, another chaotic moment, and she was a little bit sleepy this morning. This is just before a student comes, I think, for a one-to-one, -one, I think, I want to say. And so um, she's a little tired. It's quite early. We have a little bit of a snuggle, and then we can move on with a training session. And, of course, the music in the background. I feels like sacrilege to talk over it, so I'll leave you guys with this. Do you know what? I actually might get a copyright strike for having this music playing in the studio, but on this video, who knows? We'll soon find out. Funny story that I actually did get a copyright strike. So I've had to take out the music for this section. I do apologise. It's just the way YouTube works. It protects people's copyright, which is a good thing. But in this occasion, the background music playing in the studio was a flat no. Thank you to Imagine Dragons. Uh, unfortunately, now you have to listen to my voice instead of lovely music in the background. You can see what we're doing here. You know the drill. We'll literally do weight work and uh, just sort of proofing little bits of releases and that's kind of what's happening. So only a couple of more seconds of it really left before we move on to do something else entirely which has me talking over it as normal on a much better microphone than this one. So that was a position correction. It was very much required. This is the first time I think I've sat down and the position correction, re correction was needed. However, um, when a correction is needed again, you'll see how uh, when she's replaced, because I'm on the floor, it's just a little bit much for her to handle. So going back up to standing, break it down, make it a little bit simpler and then begin to up the ante again. And that's all there is to it. She's doing super well with me being on the floor, actually. This is usually a really big break point, but I think the foundation work's gone well. Working mostly just off the verbal there, which was super. Really happy with that. 
and of course snuffles at the camera this is after the uh, one-to-one and we I've been out teaching all day I've been out in the forest I've got muddy knees and it's time for a little session with Remba trying to keep things a little bit more simple because I am tired right I am very 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 tired my brain is run out so we're not going to basically introduce anything new it's all simple stuff but of course i would run into something yes good girl Sit. Sit. Wait. that was a big moment that one and uh, i felt like we were fairly ready maybe do one more rep before actually holding a camera and covering my face which would be the next logical step for us The harder it gets, the more fun the break is at the end. And also either the more fun, the higher reward or essentially the bigger the party. A little bit of a break there, immediately caught, replaced and we go again. So that was towards the camera side. That also needs proofing in um, a different direction. She's sliding backwards a bit, bless her, but she's holding really well. Fantastic. And then, you know, I feel like we all know the drill by now. We're both tired, me and Remba. Remba's had a fun day with Dan, and now it's time for her to just chill. Coming in on this evening, she and her bright had a little moment, bright just saying, hey, mate, we're friends. Alf saying, give me my tea. <laughs> tea <mate. laughs> uh, and I need to go and make tea. So I go and uh, feed the rest of them. And then uh, I, what I also need to, to do is go and chill out. But our house is essentially one gigantic corridor. And so I have to be really careful when we move through to make sure I'm not rewarding any attention crying. All of her needs are met. She needs to learn to have the off switch. And so I'm waiting until she's quiet and then go Going through. At this point, she is quiet and I'm waiting for the kettle to boil so I can finish making my cup of tea. I could have gone through at this point. I was not ready, however, so she needs to chill. When I go back through and finish making my cup of tea, she is still vocalizing. She is just the other side of this door. She is quiet, but then she hears me coming. And so I back out, ignore the building site, you guys. So I wait till she's quiet. A little bit of whining is, is fine for me. I don't have an issue with that. She's just learning to self-soothe. So I'm gonna go and get her now that she's been quiet for about 10 to 15 minutes and then take her out. So she's not rewarded for the screaming, she's recorded for quiet. And that's really important. That definition between when uh, I walk through. If we didn't have our house laid out like it is, it would be much easier. Uh, she has all of her needs met. She's been fed. She's been exercised. Her brain's been wet. She was just overtired. She needed to sleep. And that's where the off switch is learned. She needs to learn to self-soothe, self-manage in a way that's safe. She's not alone. She knows I'm behind that door. It's just a case that she's crying because she wants to be let out of the crate. So she only comes out when it's safe to do so. And toilet training again. So she knows the drill. She knows the toilet training. She's a good girl. And back to bed. She's absolutely fine. It's time for Rembert's first expedition to one of our shooting locations. The plan is, <laughs> hey baby bear, she's loving it. Um, to try and see, you know, some people. Uh, and, and if we can see people from afar, make sure we're, you know, friends, not food. And then also just some sort of like little bits of concentration engagement, but she's basically, obviously, just gonna be carried for most of it. Weather today's good. Because of traffic, we missed the sunrise a little bit. We're not gonna get to where we need to be. So we'll just get some pictures of her so that I can make sure I'm staying on track for my 2024 goals and try not fall in the mud because the weather in England's been gross. 
uh, keep her happy, keep her fed, keep her loving life. She likes these little excursions. So letting her see the world and a little bit more about kind of what we're going to be doing. But the reflections everywhere from the sky are so pretty. I'd love to use them, but she'll just be too cold. That's where we're at. So we'll have some fun, uh, see how she gets on. I feel like at this stage, everybody knows this location. This is such a good object to be working with. So kind of moving from that box to here, this is a totally different environment, loads of distraction. She hasn't even done stuff outside on objects at home. But what we're looking for is to just remember some of those things um, that she learned previously. So just a, a simple behaviors. I'm not asking for a lot, definitely not asking for anything dramatic or anything new. Um, but I'm just wanting her to just give me a sit really and then when the sit happens she gets the reward super hyper focused on us she does have her equipment off we are the only people in this area I'm 100% that she's going to stick with me just on intention and engagement I've got no worries about that if I did or if she was older than she is now she would be on a leash 100% absolutely zero chances taken um, but because she's still a little bit sticky right now, I, it, there's no no worries for me. This is not my first rodeo. I'm okay. So learning to be absolutely happy standing up on foreign objects, as it were, and move around on them, building confidence, building some balance. And also um, at this stage, learning to just follow some simple commands to get the reward and then start to build. So remember, we've already done this week getting on and off of an object with the verbal. So that's something that we would just go proof outside in a really sort of like calm environment. So there's no other dogs kind of people running around. There's no people running around. It's really kind of chill, but it's it's still different. So it's still worthwhile proofing so that when we do go to a more distracting environment, that behavior is fairly solid and we start building up. And of course, I'm there after working through some little bits and pieces in these locations like I wanted to. We're also then going to go ahead and take some pictures. So on this log, I do like to photograph dogs. People know this log from me. Uh, for this particular occasion, we uh, went ahead and uh, just got a, a quick standing shot of her on there before moving along to another location where we practice some simple recall drills um, outside. Again, we we wouldn't do anything if we didn't feel it was 100%. And I've feel 100% so I'm happy with that and I'd rather share the truth I mean this is the truth so um, did some recall drills running with Dan super for handler engagement and also super for some action shots and uh, funny to just watch Dan I feel like the song dun, 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 you know the one Anyway, then we also needed to work on some slightly steadier bits and pieces because I needed to go make sure I meet my goal. I wanted some pretty little puppy portraits before she goes too gangly and too fugly. You know what I mean. No offense, Ren. And for those ones, uh, we needed to make sure that she was actually doing some little positions. So we've already done lots and lots and lots of work on her sit. A stand should be fairly straightforward for her to achieve. Getting her attention is mainly the trickiest point because she's handler focused, which is perfect. But I needed to come away. The ball was not proofed enough at this point. So instead, uh, we worked on a slightly different technique and tactic, which which is uh, just me moving my feet was the thing that we figured out. So really adorable session. She was so good. She was really tired by the end of it, but we kept it short, no longer than probably about 30 minutes. She had a really good time. She met some friendly people and me and her also had cuddles. So could it really get any better or want more from her in this situation? This will prove her for life in these locations. We know because we've done, we've, we've done it before. So she's learning that she doesn't just go and loosely explore a forest. She knows that she's going to maybe be asked to work and do something. And that is perfect. That's all we need from it. We literally talk about this every time. So I don't think it's required for you to be a little terror. 
I'm back in for another training session. You can see that she's on one today, which is a good time for us to work on some bits and pieces. Still working on our pot leave, no issues with it. And I can train with it next to me now without her going and helping herself, which is really good progress. Working back again on ball attention. Nothing progressively difficult here. Uh, this is the same day on the evening. She's had a big day. The day started like 10 hours ago now so just kind of sort of keeping things a little bit more simple and working and building up on what we've already been looking at These are the first times that the treat pot's coming with me downwards, which is actually a fairly big deal for her. And so again, like I said, I'm not gonna push it. She's had a big day, she's done a lot, she did amazing. So not asking for too much from her, just kind of the same drills that we've been working on, uh, trying to make sure that she is still happy, super engaged and loving life, which is at this age, she just needs to love life. It just needs to be in a really managed way where she's building on skills. I took my eyes off her she had a party and so watch how this is handled so verbal negative a different position requested and then the next time my eyes are on and recall off of what she wanted to do she also, of course, has a normal chill time. I've not included so much of the chill time, but I thought I'd show you her playing here. Uh, warning, there's barking in this part. craziness right we've got lo like freaking tons tons of food today we're on the big 70g right right first of all let's not eat that right i know you've got like all of the energies and it's so hard to just sort of keep everything bottled up but we've got to give it a go flat So we don't have a clicker, so we're working on voice. Ready, sit. Yes. Here you go. Down. Yes. Go. Flat. Yes. I don't want the creep though. So working to take that creep out is important at this stage for me. And so I use a hand just as a simple barrier to make sure that this, the forward movement is kind of protected. And you'll see how that progresses here and how she already knows to autocorrect if I pull her up on it. super and then we also started training a little bit of her under so we call this under not middle middle is a different thing uh, this is perfect for start line weights positioning for uh, shots for posing uh, and for a variety of different things as well as management and containment if it's required in the future so it's a safe position for us and it's something all of the dogs know and then after we finish this training session as always we have a bit of a play but a dog barks so perfect time to test our recall <gasps> perfect <laughs> and that was week two i'll see you for next week for more crazy antics things are going to start to get fun